gives me comfort knowing that he's not going to be on the streets. He is Joshua Keedle, and tonight he's guilty of second-degree murder. Well, prosecutors proved their case even though authorities never found Ty Thomas's body. She and Keedle were students at Peru State College when she vanished in 2010. KTV News Watch Evans Emily Tenser takes us in the courtroom for the verdict. Emily? It's been nearly 10 years since Ty Thomas was last seen walking around campus. Tonight, her family says they're relieved to finally have some answers. We, the jury duly impaneled and sworn in above entitled cause. Ty Thomas's family we, cries, the hearing the verdict they waited nearly a decade for. Define and defend at Joshua Wayne Keto, guilty of the lesser included offense of murder in the second degree. David Outside the courtroom, Thomas's father is still emotional. I mean, it's a great feeling, you know, after 10 years almost. Keetle showed little emotion as he heard his fate. It took the jury of eight women and four men nine hours to convict him. Most of the case centered around circumstantial evidence since authorities never found Thomas's body. They listened to Keetle change his story to investigators, first saying he was never with Thomas that night, then admitting he picked her up and argued with her along the Missouri River. The defense maintained he left her there alive. Um, anyway, we're just disappointed. All right, thanks. Keedle is already in prison for sexually assaulting a 15-year-old girl in 2008. The jury was not allowed to know that. Nebraska Attorney General Doug Peterson says he took a personal interest in this case. He made a comment to a jailhouse informant that uh, they'll never get me because they'll never find the body. And that arrogance and the threat he posed to our uh, communities, this wasn't his first, as you know. Um, it was just very important to me that we get him. Thomas's family is just glad to finally have justice and closure. It gives me comfort knowing that he's not going to be on the streets. And there will be more to come when he gets sentenced. You know, people will finally find out what kind of monster that guy really was. Just how important was this conviction to prosecutors? Keetle was likely to be released from prison in November for the rape conviction. Keetle could now face 20 years to life. His sentencing is scheduled for April 29th. Back to you.